What if I told you that you could make your penis look bigger at home completely for free? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today I'm gonna share with you some easy ways that you can make your penis look bigger. And if you're new here, I make urologic content every Monday and Friday, so make sure to subscribe and share this channel with your friends. Before I get started, you're clearly watching this because you, like millions of other men, want to have a longer penis. While I have your attention, I'm going to tell you that no medication, herbal supplement, or cream is going to make your penis any bigger. So save your hard-earned cash for something else. But there are some completely free ways that you can make your penis appear bigger. Number one, trimming or shaving pubic hair. The easiest thing you can do to increase the appearance of your penile length is to trim or shave your pubic hair. Y'all, I have seen it all in terms of how big and how bushy people's pubic hair gets. And some people who have really coarse, thick hair, it can actually hide a significant portion of your penis. So just by manscaping, you can make it appear longer. Now, if you're wondering what's the safest way to remove pubic hair, make sure you check out my video where I talk all about that. Number two, lose weight. Next time you're naked and looking in a mirror, I want you to push that fat above your penis or what some people call fupa, fat above the pubic area, and look at your penis. Guys, the erectile tissue of your penis extends deep into the pelvis behind your pubic bone and into the perineal area. So you can actually have a lot more erectile tissue that you can't see. So when you gain weight, you actually build up fat around that area that makes the penis appear shorter. So a lot of time people are like, oh, my penis has shrunk quite a bit and they've actually gained like 20, 30, 40 pounds. So losing weight while is not easy is a very sure way to increase the length of your penis. Number three, manage anxiety. Now you may be wondering like, how does that even make sense? How is anxiety tied to how long my penis is? Well, the smooth muscles of the penis are what we call under adrenaline control. And what that means is that when you have high adrenaline, like you're stressed or anxious, your muscles will squeeze, causing contraction of the penis. In fact, I've seen people with anxiety who come in and complain that sometimes their penis will shrink into their body and ultimately over time will go back to normal. So working on reducing anxiety and stress in your life can overall help relax those muscles and increase the length of your penis. And lastly, number four, continue having erections. Now, erections are great, not only for the obvious reasons, but because when you have an erection, blood flows to the penis, bringing oxygen to those tissues. And that's why very often you'll have erections at night or in the morning. It's a great way for your penis to get the blood and oxygen that it needs. In fact, I've talked about morning wood or nocturnal penile tumescence in videos before, so make sure you check those out. But when you stop having erections over over time, it can cause chronically low levels of oxygen in those tissues. And then it can cause the tissues to become less elastic over time and eventually lead to fibrosis or scar tissue in the penis. And that ultimately shortens the penis. While there's no good data in regular men who have erectile dysfunction, we do know that in men who have radical prostatectomies and then become impotent because they've lost nerves to the penis, they lose from anywhere from half a centimeter to five centimeters of penile length after 14 months from the onset of the impotence. So if you're struggling with getting erections, make sure to make an appointment with the urologist and check out my video on how to have stronger erections where I review all the causes and treatments of erectile dysfunction. As always, we're gonna take care of yourself because you're worth it.